Tell me about NEMA. It's a peanut sensor. How did you land on this idea? Yeah, so this is a portable sensor that detects peanut in your food. You can carry it with you anywhere you go. It's really accessible. Um, started off with gluten. Uh, I have had a lot, bunch of food sensitivities, allergies, thought it was really hard to eat outside of the home. Want to empower people with one extra data point before they're about to take the bite. So gluten's been on the market for about a year and now we have peanut. And what's the, the science behind it? How does it detect if there's a peanut in the food? So it's a chemistry-based test, and what you do is you have a one-time use capsule. Okay. You put a sample of food in the capsule, and then put the capsule in the sensor. And then you wait a few minutes, and then it'll tell you if that sample contains a very trace amount of peanut. And how accurate is this? So the accuracy, we've done a lot of internal and third-party lab testing, which will all be available when we launch. Um, we found that if there's a, a trace amount, 10 parts per million of peanut in that sample, we have a 98.8% .8 chance of picking it up with the device. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm deathly allergic to nuts. It's like been a whole thing my entire life. Yeah. And oftentimes I'll read labels, you know, on the back of the label say like, may contain traces right. of peanuts. Do you think um, Nemo would be able to pick up those traces if they are in there? In one of our beta testing that we did, you know, with the peanut sensor, we found a lot of people were testing those packaged foods with mm -hmm. that mislabeled or unclear labeling. Yeah, right. And they did, they were able to pick it up in some of the the samples. It totally depends on the sample you're putting in. So if you're not going to, it's not going to obviously guarantee that everything you're about to eat is going to be peanut free, but at least it gives you that one additional data point. So the point is, if there's 10 parts per million in that sample, there's a re really, really good chance, close to 99%, that we're going to pick mm -hmm. it up. So it's a connected device. Um, okay. So it's Bluetooth connected on your phone. You can actually record what you tested, where you tested, whether it's a packaged food or restaurant food, so you can mm. get access to this huge community of other NEMA users that are testing all the time. Okay, so, so are you saying that maybe if I'm at a restaurant, I might, there's a, there's a NEMA app? Yes. So I might open the app and then see, oh, someone tested this dish exactly. like, last week or something? Yeah, someone tested this dish, it seemed okay, seemed to check out. We find most people want to test themselves anyways, just to be yeah, sure, you never, you never know, know what would happen. Conditions yeah. could change in the, in the kitchen. Exactly, we see a lot of people using it for packaged foods too, so they go to Trader Joe's. A lot of people have tested a ton of packaged foods at Trader Joe's mm -hmm. um, and use that to make a more informed purchasing decision. Nice. This is awesome. Well, yeah, can we, uh, can we get a demo? Definitely, yeah. So what you do is you have like this sample of food. Okay. Um, you take a little, you know, pea sized amount here. Yeah. So really, really small amount. Okay. Um, put it in here. This is the capsule. And then the action of closing the capsule grinds the food. Mm. And then you close it all the way and you hear that pop. That sort of initiates the chemistry in there. Okay. Test strip right here is coated with these antibodies. Um, so we base, there's a whole little lab in here. Okay. You pop that right in here, you turn it on, I'm gonna just turn it on there, and then you should start to hear it processing. It testing should say for testing peanut. for yeah. peanut, yeah. And then it's okay. gonna start processing and starting to make a little bit of a noise. That noise is basically mixing, and then you'll hear some mechanical action, and it's, it's basically releasing the sample to the test strip, and then we're gonna see whether or not that sample contains peanut. Okay. Uh -huh. Cool. And it takes about, it takes less than five minutes, but yeah. if, if, if there's no peanut, it takes longer. If peanut's there, it'll, it'll detect it faster. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> peanut <gasps> nuts! <laughs> wow, we've never Granted, tested they that. They did say there's probably a million nuts in here. And actually, I should mention, I. I <laughs> I did say, and I didn't, I also had some, you know, Nuts potential remnants, hands. so that yeah. could have been picked, right. but it's super sensitive. And then how much does this cost? So the sensor itself is uh, 229 okay. and the capsules, if you subscribe, they get, come out to about $5 per capsule. So when can I get this? This year. This year? Yeah. Okay. It's coming out soon. Cool. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I think this could be, yeah, this could be really awesome to use. Awesome. Cool. Thanks cool. for coming in. Thank you.